Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Day of the Deviant, a day to celebrate creativity and deviant art. I am the one with bear or Sarah Jean, uh, but I usually go by the one with bear on deviant art. I am a digital and traditional illustrator who uses a range of mediums from clip studio paint, watercolor, acrylic, ink, traditional, digital, all kinds of stuff, depending on my mood. Uh, I love trying different things and learning new, th new techniques. So I'm super excited and really looking forward today <laughs> because we are going to be learning a bunch of new things today. So thank you guys so much for taking the time thank out you. of your day to join oh, us. Thank you. Thank you. We have, <laughs> to be here. We will have videos and prizes all throughout the day. So stick around. <laughs> and also be sure to join the World Inside Your Mind Challenge uh, on DeviantArt, where you can win over 11,000 USD in prizes, including a laptop, drawing tablet, and more. So the details are going to be in the link in, in the description below. Art has a ton of different forms of expression. So today I will be joined by three other amazing artists. Uh, that will be Ash McGivern, uh, Alicia <laughs> Marie, and Justino Bar Barcelo. And we are going to teach each other some kind of new tricks, some new things while giving away amazing prizes. And I hope you guys will join us from your comfy home, work with us alongside, say hi in chat, and just enjoy the time. And DVNR team is going to be in there chatting with you all day long and celebrating. So now, <laughs> enough of my talking. <laughs> Let's introduce the artist. Uh, Ashley, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and what you do? Hey. So uh, my name is Ash or Ashley, whichever. It doesn't matter that much to me. <laughs> um, I am uh, Ash McGivern on uh, DeviantArt. Um, I am a professional animator. I work in uh, Los Angeles. Uh, most recently, uh, well, I can't talk about the most recent thing, but the most recent big thing is I was at Warner Brothers for several years working on Animaniacs. And before that, I was on Midnight Gospel uh, for Titmouse. Um, so I, yeah, I just, I spend a lot of time drawing because that is my job. I'm a 2D animator. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, but that comes a little bit of insanity. So uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to do some animation today, but it'll be a flip book and it'll be easy. Don't worry about it. We're gonna break it down. <laughs> <laughs> Nervous already. Oh, you'll be fine. Don't worry. <laughs> We've engineered this to be as easy as possible. <laughs> That's Thank you. Yes, please. <laughs> I've seen it. It's so hard. Oh. All right. <laughs> it uh, Alicia, uh, why don't you go ahead? Okay. Uh, my name is Alicia Marie. I'm Alicia Marie Body on Deviant Art, and I have subscriptions now. <laughs> <It's good. Yay! laughs> subscriptions. I got a mint throw that in there. Um, I'm a professional custom artist and stylist, and I've worked under contract as a custom artist with like companies like Warner Brothers, Marvel, DC Comics, uh, Riot, um, 2K Games, uh, Mortal Kombat, and I've made costumes for celebrities like Megan Thee Stallion and Ronda Rousey. So today, I, <laughs> I like costumes. I like messy art. So today we will be doing like basically an intro to cell shading. I did an entire thing with a, with a gearbox for their Borderlands uh, launch. And I made like five of their character costumes. And as you know, like they look great. We make the costume, put it on. But when you add the cell shading to the, to the fabric costume, and even when you do it to your makeup, it like takes the cosplay to sort of the next level. So today we're just going to be talking a little about the intro to cell shading. <laughs> I'm really excited because I've never taught this to anyone before. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna I'm really excited. This costume I, looks great. Yeah, I am excited because yeah. I'm a huge fan of Borderlands. I actually have the little loot chest. Uh, you can't see it, oh, but it's on really? the yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, God, Limited so cool. edition yeah, of yeah. Borderlands too. So. Absolutely slap. They're like yeah. awesome. They're like, <laughs> so I'm excited good. to work with you today, as Alicia. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Um. How yeah. about you? Go ahead. Uh. Just you know. Uh, hey, I'm Justino Barcelo. Uh, I am a comic artist and illustrator, or fantasy illustrator, I guess if you want to get really specific with it. Uh, I work on my own creator-owned project with Oni Press right now called uh, Dryad. It's with Curtis Weeb of the Rat Queens. Uh, it's a <laughs> super fun, like, family drama set in, like, cyberpunk fantasy. Uh, outside of that, I do a lot of uh, fantasy illustrations for Wizards of the Coast and most of the, a lot of the stuff doing for Tabletop or Roll20. 
Uh, yeah, that's pretty much most of my days is just doing comic book work. Uh, I mostly work uh, digitally with Clip Studio and Procreate, uh, but today well, we're going to be doing stuff traditionally, taking it back to the roots with a <laughs> yeah. Sharpie. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> we, had, we got some. You're good. Right here. You're yeah. good. <laughs> easy, easy. Oh! All right. So, are you guys all ready? Mm-hmm. We are going to start, <laughs> and yeah. it's going to start the struggle as well as the enjoyment. Uh, but, <laughs> chat, if you guys would like to follow along, please, please feel free because today is going to be a really relaxing and kind of just laid back fun. So, if you have some sketchbook on your side or if you have any sort of equipment that would match what we're doing today, please feel free to join us and go along with us. So, mm-hmm. I am going to start us off. Uh, as the first teacher, you know, okay. so everybody <laughs> get ready. <laughs> um, uh, so my session is going to be washi tape and using wash tape, washi tape. Uh, washi tape is basically masking tape that's patterned. So I believe all of you guys have some um, by really? your hand. Yeah. So pick a yes, color that you really like and you have the line art printed out. Awesome. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So uh, for those who are in chat, if you don't know what I'm doing at the moment, we have a line art printed out uh, on a piece of uh, cardstock or slightly thicker paper. I'm going to show you some examples of what I usually do. So these are some examples um, of washi tape combined with ink and also watercolor. Thank you. Um, So basically the idea is to look at the pattern and see how they can fit into your illustration and how to use them to kind of enhance your work. So there are a ton of different patterns. You can just pick whatever that you feel like you like the colors or you like the structure of it. Uh, Today we are going with an illustration that has a kind of like a flowy cape sort of thing. Um, so let's see. I actually have not pre-selected my tape, and <laughs> because the we're gonna just it. yes, exactly. We're gonna wing it. Oh. Oh my very I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm going to select this one. I think because it's citrusy. It has some orangey color. I think that would fit the fall colors. Uh, so if you guys have already selected yours, can I see which one you picked? <laughs> Do you want us to pick more than one or just the one? You can pick whatever, however many that you would oh. like. I found two okay. that I enjoy. Great. Oh, oh, awesome. Those are pretty. I like, I like Same. those ones. Oh, yeah, awesome. nice. the pink oh, and the pastel pretty. colors. They're really yes, cool. yeah. those colors are being... together. You guys are being teacher's pets. You guys are being teacher's pets. I'm taking these. Oh, talking about. There you go. I love them. I don't want Sarah Jane to like uh, uh, See, number one, you guys are all number one students because I'm very generous. <laughs> but can I get a sticker? Though? Can I get a little gold star sticker? Oh, yep. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. You're not the favorite until you, you got the sticker. <laughs> all right. So we are going to, you know, find the edges because that's sometimes the hardest part to do. Uh, So find the, and then start peeling a little bit. So these are, keeping in mind, they are basically masking tape and Mm -hmm. they are not super, super sticky. Even if you, you know, mess up sometimes if I tape it randomly there, you can peel it off just fine. Oh, I actually hurt the surface of my paper. (laughs) Let's (laughs) pretend that did not happen. But you know- To be fair, you can't see it. You can't see it on the video. You're good. Nothing Okay. Oh, good. You know, sometimes <laughs> mistakes happen, you know, regrets happen, but you just kind of learn to accept mistakes. Yeah. So, <laughs> F in the chat. Yes, F in the chat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just trying to get user engagement. Yes. F, F in the, the chat. chat. Um, but that's okay. Let's <laughs> pretend that didn't happen. And, you know, sometimes peel it off slowly. You, unlike me who just, you know, rip it off, off in, um, quickly. But I'm going to put this on the uh, cutting board. Uh, remember to have some sort of cutting board and not just, or, or even like a piece of cardboard. Don't just cut it straight on the table. If you ruin your table, don't sue me. So I already <laughs> said that. <laughs> So yeah, uh, you can just put it on your cutting cutting board. 
Or if your paper is thick enough, you can actually just put it directly on the paper. But right now we're going to just cut a triangle. You know, you don't have to worry about uh, what it looks like, just cut a triangle. You have a triangle on your exacto knife. Can you hold that up closer? Yes. So I can this is this is the exacto knife that I use, because um, the pointy the pointy end uh, kind of gives it a little bit more precision. So I usually use this. You can use any sort of cutting items like scissors, and you know mm -hmm. you can rip it with your fingers if you want to. Okay. Um, and then <laughs> so once it's you, any, yeah, okay. basically any. Um, once you have that, you can just. Pick a place that you like and, you know, stick it on the paper. It's that easy. Just stick it on and rub it with your finger. <laughs> Real so hard Why are you so mad at me? <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is so, I feel so, like, cool right now. I'm feeling like I know. a lot art. I feel so it is, artsy. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. This is so crafty and it's such a cheat because they have, they generally have like nicer patterns than I can ever do. So yeah. I just, I just like slap them on to pretend that I know how to do art. And then <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're all doing. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Fake, fake it until you make, you make it. it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. High sure. five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have that first triangle down, just continue cutting some more triangles or even just straight lines, cubes, whatever you want, and just stick them all over your the uh, this lady's cape. Um, and of course, like rub it down pretty hard. Otherwise, the end sometimes sticks up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. I and see this is how you work all the time. This is like so relaxing and nice. Yeah, it, it really is. Uh, so yeah, I actually use washi tape with, um, we, uh, we use washi tape with watercolor mm. and acrylic. And I also seal them with resin sometimes. And it's Ooh. really, really, really helpful mm -hmm. because, you know, it saves me the time to do all of these intricate details. Uh, and it also, uh, adds just a lot of different textures and layers to it. Uh, there mm. are a ton of different types of tapes. Oh, no. There are uh, transparent ones, really opaque Ooh. ones. I believe the ones that you guys were holding up uh, were mm -hmm. all fairly opaque. So the opaque yeah. ones are nice in, in terms of like, they really add the contrast to your piece. Um, mm. But some of the more transparent ones, I kind of use them and layer them a lot. Um, so they have like a watercolor effect, uh, such as this one, if you can, if you, if the chat can see this. Um, so basically these are really pale uh, blue petals and I just cut them in shapes and then layer them together and then use paint on top of it to add even more contrast to kind of, uh, to kind of like have the illusion of I painted that. I did not. <laughs> I, I looked up at the exact moment you brought the other piece out and I was uh -huh. like, is she that far mm -hmm. already? I was like, how did you, yes. how are you that fast? Yes, I, I did that just in the past five minutes. So, you know, guys, get on my level. <laughs> how long does it take you to typically do this? Like, what is a, what is like your average speed, you know, looks like? How long do you spend doing it? Uh, usually I stream uh on stream and i can do like a, a sketch of this uh do the watercolor part and a washi tape part probably in three to four hours so currently i am just kind of uh looking at this pattern i start from the bottom of the cape uh, yeah and then i kind of work myself up because i feel like the top can use a little bit of you know emptiness so when you're looking, when you're using these tapes, it's really good to kind of have a sense of visual hierarchy. You know, some places you would have a very condensed amount of patterns and some mm -hmm. other places would be a little looser just so, you know, it's not super overwhelming uh, with all the with all the um, patterns going on. Some of them are really nice. They have like a bunch of reflective uh, surfaces, mm -hmm. like when you rotate them, it shines. Oh yeah, 
like this one is is one of my favorite tapes and they really kind of reflect that gold but at the same time it can be very strong and very uh, distracting sometimes so it's mm -hmm. really up to you kind of using the same tape to break up that pattern so but ultimately it is really just to have fun and you know don't have too much pressure on yourself and just mm. kind of keep your head down and cut i have a question for you yep. teacher mm -hmm. um do you, do you mostly Student. work <laughs> <laughs> do you mostly work so you do you mostly work with triangles or just all shapes all shapes Okay. Um, the reason why I, I picked triangles is because triangles can fit the, uh, this cape area fairly nice. Mm -hmm. um, okay. It also kind of usually gives a lot of more dynamic look, but you can mm -hmm. also do like, for example, all straight lines, you know, just mm -hmm. whatever patterns that you feel like would really enhance your piece. Um, yeah. but I, I go with triangles first for beginners, just because it's a really easy shape to cut. <laughs> yeah. There's, exactly. a lot of, there's also a but, lot of places that a triangle fits just in mm -hmm. general. Yeah, yeah exactly. Lots. Especially on clothing. Yeah. So, all the yeah. folds and everything. Mm -hmm. so, and my and, second question yes. is, do you do overlapping at all or do you not overlap really? I do overlap quite a bit. Uh, okay. Sometimes I would even cut out just a particular shape. For example, I have like a little orange shape right here. I would just, you know, circle that around, even though circle is a pain in the butt to, <laughs> yeah. to cut out. <laughs> um, but I would sometimes just cut out single uh, flowers, mm. et cetera, to kind of paste in the, in, in the places that I like. Um, but overlapping mm. is absolutely fine. Uh, it is actually really welcomed in a lot of uh, cases. So um, before we move on to the next segment, I also want to talk a little bit about what surface you can use uh, for your for your traditional work when you are doing this kind of stuff. Right now, currently, I am using a card stock. Uh, so this one is actually fairly good because you can see that I am slicing on this top, but it's not going through at all. So card stock is ideal or some things like Moleskin watercolor uh, album is also uh, very ideal. So that would be, oh, let me, one second. So watercolor paper is very, very good for this purpose. Mm -hmm. um, I would have, uh, here, this is a piece that's a really good example of this. So that's a lot of different tapes combined together, a lot of different uh, shapes and colors kind of morphed together. But I can basically just directly oh. cut on this paper because uh, the paper is thick enough to endure it. So yeah. we are going to go into sharing. <laughs> oh, yes. We are going it's to go into Sherry. Let's oh, see it, it guys. It's already been. It's already been. It's already been. We oh, went just don't home. tell Deviantart. We'll do another 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I know. What the heck? I need to finish it. Oh, uh, Ill illegal, illegal uh, uh, continuation of this craft. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> no stress, guys. Keep I playing. I'm going to keep doing this after we're done. <laughs> yeah. This is nice. I, I, oh, I want to have some fun from you guys, too. Come on. This is an extreme. That's, that's, <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Okay, yes. Okay, okay. So you guys All are right. very free uh, to do this continuously afterward, but right now we're <laughs> going to go around and share uh, okay. what they have done. All right, Ashley, go ahead. Oh, uh, I had to. This is nice. I found that I just liked putting the tape directly on. This one was slightly translucent, so it was actually I could see the lines underneath it. Uh -huh. So it was easy to cut on top of it. Although this paper did rip a couple of places. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need to know that. <laughs> know that. Like, yeah, exactly. No, but yeah, this is that. this is super fun. I would I would one hundred percent do more of this. That is see. so good. Me too. <laughs> you totally like focus on the pattern as well, and you know how it kind of like flow with the cape. Yeah. So I think that was really cool. Uh, just nice. you know, I think Alicia still had his. <laughs> he's like shaking his head. Oh yeah, I was <laughs> like, I'm really getting into this. I'm like. <laughs> So I look at this from like a, ooh, let me see, Justin, go, okay, go, yeah, go, Justin, please. Go, go ahead. Go. <laughs> yes. Um, oh, okay, yeah. That's really awesome. That is. Oh, them all on there. Wow. And then I started recognizing the patterns that were going on. Uh -huh. And in I this section, we go a little closer for the chat. Uh, <gasps> I had a really, I had a smaller thinner tape. 
uh, I thought would really work well for a border, but it wasn't until the end. So when you were like, it's time to wrap up, I was like, wait, no, I just got a good idea. <laughs> the inspiration but, has struck. Let's put this yeah, like, which is, art. <laughs> I don't know, just totally not surprising that I didn't like, I don't know. I just didn't. It's like so out of my wheelhouse that it, it's just like, oh, wow, this is like so nice and relaxing and like enjoyable. And uh-huh. I don't know, maybe mm-hmm. think in a different way. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. It's, it's really nice because it kind of forces you to think outside of the box sometimes when you're working mm-hmm. with these patterns instead of what we already know, because visually it's already providing you something to work with. So mm-hmm. like usually with us that has so much creativity that we could just put on paper, it's a different mindset uh, for sure. All right, Alicia, okay. let's see it. It is. Okay. So like, I look at this, I was like looking at it from like a fashion perspective. I'm like, Ooh, if this cape was like, sort of like, just like (laughs) solid at the top and then like patterned at the bottom. Yeah. But but this is going to take a while. Yeah. I'm aware of that. (laughs) you're the fashion queen yeah because <laughs> yeah, like if it, looks, if it was yeah. like patterned at the bottom and like solid at the top maybe mm, yeah so i was trying to find washi that tape that sort really of matched good. yes it's not well, a bad also, idea a bad way to do some like concepts for costuming that's for sure no one yeah really that. for sure yeah this yeah. is a really really good way because it's kind of like also using texture digitally um, mm-hmm. You don't also have to use washi tape. You can use just pattern paper and then you just use glue stick to stick it on. Same oh. idea. <laughs> Before we move on to the next presenter, we are going to have something really, really, really awesome for you. Um, we are going to give away a prize. Yay! Woo! <laughs> yeah. All right. Chat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you are going to see the name of a DeviantArt profile soon. And what you need to do is go to that profile and comment on it with the phrase, happy day of the deviant. Again, happy day of the deviant. The first 10 people to do so is going to get a $100 Amazon gift card, courtesy Mm -hmm. of DeviantArt. So good luck. Yay. Some good stuff, y'all. You got this. Yes. I believe yes. in you. Go, go, so go, 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 go. Yes. Yes. go let's go. Art right, supplies. <laughs> yeah, and you. you can buy washi tape. That's yes, so it's exciting. It's like hundred dollars worth of washi tape. <laughs> exactly. You can have like all of the these boxes. You know, <laughs> all of the right. boxes of washi tape. <laughs> yeah. Next person, and we are going to have Ashley. Uh, teachers, and you will have eight minutes to uh, present. Eight minutes, <laughs> eight minutes, eight minutes to best. show you how to do animation. Okay. Yes. Uh, so for those of you at home, the best way to do this is if you have like a uh, we. I have I have just a notepad like this. If you have like a thing of sticky notes, this is also a really good way to do that, or just a stack of paper that you can like staple together or like clip together in some capacity. Just you know, classic mm-hmm. clipbook stuff. Um, I'm going to, I got to readjust just a touch here, get a little closer so y'all can see. Um, Oh, is this upside down? Oh no, it isn't. Great, I'm smart. (laughs) So essentially we're just gonna be doing a bouncing ball because that's one of the easiest things you can do. Animation is 100% about tricking people into believing what they see is real. Um, You're lying to to us? Yes, (laughs) I have been lying to you the whole time. so what you want to do is you want to start from the back of your flip book because we will be if you imagine the progression in which this is going to go you got to start from the back and kind of flip your way forward um animation works in to break it down as simple as possible you have uh the way drawings are spaced out me uh will kind of like indicate how fast something goes on screen so if you imagine a ball starts down here and you have like it, it starts slow and then goes fast, slow, fast, mm-hmm. slow, fast. And that's kind of how you get a bouncing ball effect. So that's a little cheat sheet. Essentially what you want to do is I'm going to start at the back and the best way to do it is to kind of have your thing folded. So you know what you're going to be able to see. Um, mm-hmm. And then I'm going to just start with a line on the bottom. I'm just using a pen. It doesn't really matter. And then you just start with a circle. No big deal. Just a circle. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna move pretty fast here, just so that we, you know, we can get going. And if you put your paper down, hopefully your paper is thin enough that you can see the drawing underneath it, so you have a little bit of an idea on where you're gonna go next. Um, I like to have the same drawing twice, so that way it stays on screen a little bit longer. 
um, if okay. that makes any sense. Because the more drawings you have of a particular action, the longer it'll stay on screen. Does that make it, mm -hmm. if that makes sense? So what we'll do is after we have our basic circle, we're going to do what's called an anticipation, which is something you do before your main action. It gives it a little bit more oomph. It indicates how something is going to be moving. So we mm -hmm. will take our circle and we will slightly, not a ton, squish it just a little bit into kind of an oval shape. Squish. Yeah. You squish. Squish. Yeah. And then you do it again and you squish it down a little bit further. Okay. Um. Uh huh. And then you can do it even once more after that. Just get it all the way down. Okay. Until My it's ball. kind of like a, a puck. <laughs> My ball is flat. Yeah. <laughs> Your boy's flat. And <laughs> obviously, like an actual ball isn't going to go this extreme unless you know you have something like a uh, like a really rubbery ball. But the point of animation mm -hmm. isn't necessarily to follow things true to real life. It's to make it appear as if it's doing something. Um, so this is what I mean by tricks. A ball won't actually squish down that much, but your eye is going to register that it is squishing a little bit. Um, so now that we've done our anticipation, it's time to get into the main action. So I have drawn another line and to just kick it off right away, get our ball straight up in the air. I'm gonna do a stretch right in the middle, right in the middle. Cool. And okay. that will launch the ball up into the air, like immediately after our anticipation. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And then, and then I will do that line again. And then a little bit further up, I will do a circle. Like the way we had it at the bottom. So what's okay. happening here is we are taking the ball, we are squishing it down, and mm -hmm. we are going yoink straight up into the air very quickly. From here, mm -hmm. I'm going to do another line, and I'm going to draw a couple more circles in the air. And I'm going to do this very quickly um, because I, can, I do this a lot. But uh, I'm going to just incrementally go up just a little bit. Um, mm -hmm barely anything to just kind of let it hang in the air a little bit, kind of give it the okay. illusion that it's jumped up and we're, you know, gravity hasn't taken hold of this bouncing ball just yet. Um, okay. So I'll do that for a couple of drawings. You can choose how many you want. The more you put mm -hmm. the longer, it'll hang up in the air. Once you're done with that, um, I'll do one more here. Once you feel like you've had enough drawings of it up in the air, do one more drawing of it just barely going down again okay um and then immediately after we're going to do another stretch so we it rockets down to the surface another stretchy thing right in the middle okay yeah well i feel like mm -hmm. i cannot draw circles <laughs> It's okay. No, you know, I've never been oh more God. aware of my inability to draw certain <laughs> no. Honestly, moment. like I'm shaking a little bit because I have to explain this and hopefully way you guys understand. So don't <laughs> worry, we're like, totally cool. <laughs> you are doing so okay. well. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I feel like I'm yeah. taking an art class right now because I'm like, yeah. oh wow, you know, you know, I didn't really think yeah. of it as yeah. like frames. Yeah. As some would yeah. say. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so once <laughs> Once you do that long, that last long one, we're going to immediately yeah. go into a squish. Okay. Because we are implying that there's some kind of action, some kind of force pulling this down, which is of course gravity. And then from here, you can, you can basically pretty much like get it back into an almost squished ball and then a normal ball again. Okay. Okay. And that's your bouncing ball. And then I like to, at the very end, just trace back the same circle a couple times. So it like sits there as you're mm -hmm. kind of running through the flip book. Um, but yeah, that's essentially it. And once you're done, you can flip through and see how your work wow. works. Wow. Well, that's I, it. Okay. So you just wee. The moment of truth. I'm so scared. <laughs> it might be hard to flip. It might be a little hard to flip. Sometimes two oh, more wow. drawings is helpful. It's no wow. <laughs> Yeah, a little round of ball. It's cool. That is really awesome. cool. Yeah, yeah, so you have a little bit oh, of anticipation cool. back up and then it squishes back down. 
you know, yeah. classic animation stuff. And you can imagine <laughs> this is the backbone of animation. These principles right here, the, an the anticipation, the force, mm -hmm. the little squishing. And you can imagine how that gets extended to, you know, to characters, you know, if you have uh -huh. a whole character. Yeah, yeah. You know. So mm -hmm. it's and just building on top of what you kind of already yeah. drawn and then trying to mm -hmm. exaggerate it. Yeah. yeah. And so mm -hmm. this is a pretty poor drawing, but like you imagine this is our, this would be a squash for uh -huh. somebody about to jump would be something like <laughs> this. And then this is out of order, but like one, two, and then like the stretch part would be, you know, you have your hands mm -hmm. up like this mm -hmm. and then the body is fully extended, you know, uh -huh. and that would be that that's kind of how animation carries through like the rest of everything so you know mm -hmm. just we did this little bouncing ball and you have an idea of like how that works and you can tell by you know we spent more time here so it took longer for the action to wind up and as soon as the action happens we only spent like one drawing there so it happened quickly mm -hmm. that's that is like the backbone of how mm -hmm. animation works so next time you watch like an animated movie or something or like anything that has to do with animation, like you, you're gonna be able to start seeing it, how some movements like will, they'll hang on them and then they'll go forward. That's how we're doing it, is by oh, determining wow. how many frames something will be visible. That's uh, super yeah, that's, cool. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah and that's it's just obvious time. <laughs> yeah. You, you ever hear that quote where it's like, wow. oh, an artist never stops being an artist from whatever they're, or you know, like what have you. I feel like I used to make flip books as a kid and didn't realize that's how animation works until <laughs> yeah, like it just like it didn't occur to me that like oh yeah, you can make the actual things slower? out of this. <laughs> I should sit here and show the drawings a little bit slower for for those who wanted to have like a better look at it. Um, yeah. But yeah, so if anyone like wants to like share their bouncing ball on DeviantArt or like ask me animation questions, like feel free to tag me. Again, my handle on DeviantArt is Ash McGill. Yeah. Um, and I'm more than happy to answer questions about animation in general. I spend most of my day doing it. So I, I enjoy it. I spent eight hours doing it today for work. That's awesome. <laughs> you know. Yes, exactly. Everybody is expected to, you know, start animating Mecca. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's just immediately, you just go from zero to Mecca. That's yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, I actually made it like go out. off. If you guys Would can you show it? me your bouncing balls, I want to see them. Like, yeah, show yeah, me yeah. How, how, the, how the class do. How the class do. <laughs> well, listen, show us your um, evolution. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, well, okay. I will go first. Um, yeah, let's see. I, I don't I'm actually flipping. know. Oh, wait, I'm disoriented. <laughs> it's okay. Oh <laughs> wait, yeah. Oh, it's moving. Yeah, you did it. Yeah. Look at you. Oh my God, Ash, oh. you're such a great teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I, told so you we were, I'm, yes. I told you, I broke it down as simple as possible. So yeah. I, you're, it was that's so fun. That's awesome. So All satisfying. Right. Right. Who's next? It Show is me. though. Show me. Someone else. Let me just, you know, go ahead. Yeah, let me see. I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out how you how somebody's gonna be having problem like doing the reversal thing. Wait a minute. It's a little. <laughs> yeah, I messed I up. know. I totally get it. <laughs> let me think this way. Yeah, I guess it would be that way. Yeah, yeah. But I like. Let me see if I can do this. Let me see. How did you hold yeah. that, Sarah? I, I the heck? don't know. I don't. So I like a hoda like this. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, like so that. Yeah. 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 I was like, maybe I may put it too far in. Maybe let's see. Maybe. Yeah. There you go. Oh, uh, too oh, bad. Yes. Oh, oh, okay. Yes, that's that's good. Cool. Yes. 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 Hey. Oh, you guys the are good. The most challenging smooth. part of this session is actually flipping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, God, oh, that's foolish. fun. I just, you know, I want to hmm. see. I want to see. No. <laughs> yes. I, Let's I, see. I, we'll do, we'll do the turn based uh, Final Fantasy version. Because oh, I my did God. Did you wise. overachieve? <laughs> I know. I went lengthwise. So when mine goes, it just goes up and then you lose it in the fold. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> because I was a fool and forgot you could flip books this way. <laughs> and I should have done it on the edge. I did see the drawings, like though. You did it correctly. Does. I can tell just by the distribution <laughs> of drawings. You did it right. So <laughs> you did do it. <laughs> and it's so, so much easy you could do it again. So what Ash is trying to say is that um, her job is not in danger 
None of us are going to get it. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fine. I will not be sending my resume. <laughs> <laughs> to... A little more practice. <laughs> little more practice. Uh, All right. Awesome. Thank, awesome. You. Thank you. That was super oh, fun. Thank you. And then awesome. Again, chat, if you have been following alone, again, remember to tag me. Uh, for the washi stuff and then for your animation remember to tag ashley uh, on deviant art and we would absolutely love to see them share them and you know ask any question so <laughs> the next one we have alicia who is going to teach us how to draw Hi. on camera yeah. shoes yay oh, i know and i know they're like cracking the whip that deviant art is like you have eight minutes or you die so we have eight minutes we're gonna blow right through it this is perfect for it um, basically, <laughs> so, <laughs> what you need is you need a black marker, a white marker or white paint, but mostly you're going to use a black marker the most. If you have like some canvas shoes or sneakers, we got some really cool, like, um, you know, nursing home slides from DeviantArt. Look great. We're going to use those. <laughs> Oh, it'd be so comfortable. Um, We're gonna. Go yeah, I mean, you can basically <laughs> like these. Like, where are you gonna wear yours, Justin? After you work, you can wear them out. Start a chain, whatever. Um, I'm gonna seal mine up, and I'm gonna wear them to. I'm gonna wear them out. You kidding me? If they come out good, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> like, look what it's. So I want you guys to try this at home. If you're at home, grab your black marker, white paint, your canvas sneakers, whatever you have, and I'm gonna want to see like your amazing artwork after, so you can tag me or do whatever you need to do. Um, you can cell shade anything. Just to start off, cell shading or cartoon shading is uh, like an animation technique or a trick of the eye where you take something that's three dimensional and you paint or draw on it. So it has more of a specific two dimensional look like a traditional comic book. So cell shading is like part drawing and part shading. And like anything artistic, you can like do the basic, like what we're doing today, or you can take it to the moon, like with different shades and contouring. And you, I'm sure you've seen um, a lot of the artwork that is done for Borderlands, um, for Gearbox and uh, just cartoon shading in general. Was, for me, I just like scribbling on clothing and making it look interesting. And I also like cell shading my face. So you can also use these techniques for makeup if you intend to do any Borderlands cosplay, take your cosplay to the next level. Okay, I'm gonna show you, for instance, this is, it's a lot of fun to do sneakers because they have a lot of elements and details for you to like make pop or pull back. So this is like an original Converse, well, fake Converse. What is it, what was it called? Con, Converse sneaker <laughs> like this. And all I did was add black lines to it to make it look like, just make it look more like cartoony oh. sort of versus oh. the normal okay. one. Wait a minute. All right. <laughs> All it's right. like this. That's <laughs> awesome. Really okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah like yeah, yeah. Minutes, whatever. <laughs> Actually, we both work in social shaking, both go, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I'm understanding the principles now. Oh, Just immediately. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. Social shaking in real life. <laughs> <laughs> It's um, it's one of those things where um, the more elements that you have to work with, like with lace sneakers, you can work with the eyelets and the laces as well. So it does something. But these are very plain. But we're gonna we're gonna make it work anyway. I'm gonna right. show you like these are the ones we have, right? Right. Mm -hmm. These this is one I sort of like started playing with when I was over there, it's just scribbling on it. So first thing you're gonna do is the first the first thing you have to think about is take out your black marker. Mm -hmm. And yes, yes. Does it work? Make sure it works. Yeah. So yeah. I, I had a bit of an accident. I lost the head. <laughs> oh no! I was gonna oh, yeah. you do that? Oh, no, I don't even... know. Oh no! I'm You're gonna get attention. But that's okay. You're gonna get <laughs> Let's <alone>. continue. <laughs> Let's continue. <laughs> Getting his attention. Black <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. All right, what you're gonna do is now there's really no way to mess this up because let me tell you, I have like destroyed so many things. I'm like, oh, that didn't come out right. Oh, well, mm -hmm. the more you do this, the more you learn. For me, when I'm making like, when I'm painting costumes and stuff like that, I usually do it with one eye open because it changes my perspective, but it'll give you a headache. So we're not gonna do that. First thing you're gonna do is with the black marker, do you see where there's a seam? Like, mm -hmm. where, like right where I have to hold it up because I'm ridiculous. I didn't do the chain. There's like a seam there. You're yeah, just going to yeah. follow the seam with, mm -hmm. a, with a strong black line. I'm talking about the seam that does across the top here. This one that goes like that. Okay. See that black line oh, there? I see. Yeah. I've already, I've already right done it differently, yeah. but that's cool. That's fine. Yeah, there are only half yeah, the accidents oh. here. Exactly. Because basically all cell shading is, is making things like, 
making things pop and tricking the eye. So you're making everything look very deliberate. So Mm -hmm. draw like you're basically drawing the lines that are on the sneaker in black, draw them in black, Mm -hmm. not the stitching, not the stitching. The edges. See where the edge is drawn black there? Yeah, see, that's where I I already did that. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just going to go with it. I'm just going to do the rest of this one. Intro course, intro (laughs) course. I'm just going to go. I'm going to commit. I'm going to commit. I've already done it. (laughs) Good are you. Yeah, totally just draw the line. So like I said, it's it's like making everything deliberate. If you get messy, it doesn't matter. I said I like messy stuff. Do that little U part in the front. Like just mm-hmm. trace it black. Mm-hmm. Everything's really heavy. It looks really weird. Like when I, I did um a few Borderlands cosplays for Anime Expo and in person, I can look really scary. But then you take a picture of me and you're like, whoa, because that it changes like the, the dark pulls back and the light pulls forward. So mm-hmm. dark line. And then so you're going to do all your all the stitching, all the lines, just the dark black line. Don't touch the stitching part yet. That's totally different. Mm-hmm. OK. Um, so you got your black lines done. <laughs> do it around yeah. the edges. Of this. I think because we only have eight, eight minutes, we won't do the entire shoe, but we'll we'll just focus on like a little bit of the front, just the front beak part of the shoe. We'll do the beak, the beak, okay. the beak, the beak. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very good. Trace the base, like right the uh-huh. base of the the base of like where the sneaker meets. Oops, I just did okay. that. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> I often say that when I'm making things and I'll look at myself and I'll go professional. Sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a lot, a yep. lot of art is just yeah. taking the mistakes and going, that's just my signature style. Thank you. <laughs> that's the, yeah, that's, that's just the way it is. Exactly. That's it. So trace around the base of uh, the top of the senior, trace around the base. You got that. Trace Whoops. around the base. You chase around the base, just the beak we're doing. So it's like, looks really like strong black line there don't around the base of the sneaker. Do, do, uh-huh. See what it looks? Yeah. 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 Oh, that's yeah. so sick. Oh my wow. God, it's amazing. I'm just so I amazing. <laughs> so yeah. what you want to do is you want to exaggerate those stitch lines. What I did, let me show you what I mean. See the stitch lines? They're like, just like dashes. They look like dashes oh. almost. Oh. Yeah. Wait, that makes so there. much more sense. That dashes makes so much sense. that okay um, yeah that okay. does actually make a lot more sense. cool okay <laughs> so we're just gonna oh, so just do like dashes dash let me show you Got dash it. again uh-huh. it doesn't have to be perfect we aren't perfect to the dashes <laughs> like i said if you're gonna do this for real take your time if you're gonna do this for real if you have less if you have more than eight minutes you know take your time but this is the like i said it's the this is the um what do you call it the toot this is the toot <laughs> we're is... doing we're doing eight minute toots. Yep, <laughs> minute. Mark off my hands. <laughs> Actually, kind of crazy how much we could get done in eight minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. You're doing so great. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm okay. so proud of us. This is not so like you, this does not make cosplay easy. Don't don't let the lies believe you. Yeah, it's exactly. hard. <laughs> oh yeah, like I did um Tyreen Tyreen's coat, and that took days to do. Sure it did. Big fur coat. I was like, here we go. Oh <laughs> man. Okay, now you'll notice that little stretchy part. This is just for this is how you accent things. So little stretchy part in the front. It looks like it has. Like it looks elastic or something. So there's yeah. lines in it. Uh-huh. What you want to do is to just so you're identifying that there are lines there. You see what I did for this one? Uh, like, this went scratchy, scratchy, scratchy a little bit. It just scratchy, oh. scratchy. So it's just like this. Flat it out and go. Doo, doo, doo. It's just so like so you're identifying that there is a pattern there. Mm-hmm. So your eye thinks, oh, there's something that's supposed to be there. I get it. Got it. Right Got there. Okay. Got it. Switch to an actual. That was pen. easy. Yep, yep, yep. I can see why you and so, prefer to work with a smaller pen. Yeah, definitely smaller. This I is understand. like a chonk, a chonker, a big chongus. Chonker. <laughs> you know the yes. big chongus of the bunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, how are you guys doing so far? I'm so I'm fun. Oh, nice. <laughs> this is very so fun. fun. Yeah. I'm like get really getting into it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 100 really, going really to finish it. <laughs> people watching this is like what are these people doing all right so you have this we're gonna do like some like accents like accenty sort of lines and these are completely arbitrary and up to you and like i said like sometimes it's better to like you close your eye because you can see so when i'm whenever i'm doing this for real i try to follow shadows 
that would be on the shoe. And I hate the fact that I can't explain that correctly, but um, the shape often, of the shoe. Yeah, the shape, exactly. Like the yeah. You're gonna draw like just a few, like what I call like flicker lines in the front. Let me show you what I, actually, I mean, I can, I can show you this way. They're like right in like the front, just like black sort of like flicked mark. Let me show you how I do it with this marker, how I would do it. I would do like this, like, where am I? Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. It's a, it just adds sort of like the accent to the toe. And like I said, like I've done this, like where, like over here on the side, I might draw another, it's like V, V uh -huh. shape there. It's like a tension line there. Yeah, like here you might go like, woo, look at that, check it out, whoa. And sometimes I'll scribble on the shoe just for fun. Like on this one, what did I do on that one? Like I have like on this one, I have like hashtags and stuff. Like I'll just <laughs> scribble for no reason, but sometimes it can look really cool. Mm -hmm. I imagine I it works well when you follow like the actual curvature of the shape itself. Mm -hmm. That's it. The lines, yeah. like just when you do the flicker lines, like make sure you're you're actually following the line that's on this finger. You can if you if you look like in a weird way, you can see it already start to come together. Mm -hmm. On the base lines is lines on the white base as well. That's gonna get all of your hands, but check yeah. it. Mm -hmm. We are under crunch time, guys. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. See the lace. See the lace. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. oh, wow. Look at you. Yes. Check it out. <laughs> you <laughs> made a shoe. I'm about it. It's really it. easy Isn't to it? do and it takes practice. But once you get sort of the hang of it, you'll start to see what you're, what you're trying to do. Like if that makes any sense. Like you'll yeah. do it, like, what is this doing? But then all of a sudden you're like, Oh, I get what they're doing now. Mm. Yeah. It's definitely it's one of those favorite. like trust the pro like the process moments. Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, do I, like, is this really going well? And then you're like, exactly. Oh. And the, I wanted to add really quick before we go the white marker, what you're doing with the white is just adding accents onto the back. Uh -huh. So where black is, like right where the edge is, you're going to do like a little bit of highlight there. See that how it pops uh -huh. out? I see. Let's say you're going to do, yep, a little bit like over like here. It's totally arbitrary, uh -huh. but you're, you're adding accent to the black to uh -huh. make it pop even more. Got it. Mm -hmm. Love it. <laughs> wow. That's fun. How this is, yeah, this, I can do this forever. This is so mm, it's fun. fun. Man, we got washi tape projects. We got like shoe projects. <laughs> I'm going to be busy for hours. Yes. <laughs> like, I'm, like, I'm just like, oh, it's going to make art. Happy oh, <laughs> Why don't we look at, uh, since we had eight minutes and that was honestly super, super fun. Why don't we go ahead and see what everybody has uh, done so far. I I'll okay. start with mine. Cause I have so much fun. Ooh. So, oh, you did yeah. so right. It oh, looks so, so good. Cool. Oh, I kind of, I kind of messed I up. I love in the it. Beginning. Thank you. No, it seriously, looks... you are such a good teacher, but I kind of messed up in the beginning. I drew over the seam. <laughs> oh, I did. Yeah, I did the same. There's thing. no, there's no wrong answer at all. Everything yeah. looks perfect. Yeah, I did the, I did the same thing except I did the seam around the top here. Oh, oh, oh so yes. so yeah. Cool. There's so much more texture. I, I need to make it's it this awesome. Year. It's perfect. It's perfect. Then, Definitely. Here, Let's see, Justin. Mine. Ooh, oh, Justin, you look at oh, oh, slightly so different. Cute. Cute, okay, artist. Look at him okay, flashing us wow. right now. I know. Oh, Going oh, off. What a flex. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Ooh. Oh, I, I got something all really over my body amazing. now, guys. It, it oh just God. happens. <laughs> <laughs> it's Are you trying a beard on your face? What are oh, you doing? no. I think it just got, I think it got on my hand and it touched my face. Actually, actually my black beard. <laughs> we used to it. <laughs> That's okay. We all had some accident. My nib just flew out. So <laughs> I think I oh, scattered some ink on my keyboard. My nib flew out. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh no. I'm so oh, proud no. of you guys. Oh, Good job. Uh, oh man, this is too much fun. <laughs> I know. I'm having too much. This is well, Chad, I hope oh. you guys had a bunch of fun watching that that um, you know. <laughs> half train wreck on our part <laughs> but alicia that was absolutely amazing that was super fun and i definitely need to finish my sneakers and add more colors to it <laughs> and chat by the way 
Uh, if you have been following alone, again, remember to tag us, uh, tag Alicia if you have any kind of canvas shoes that you're working on, mm -hmm. if you tried out any sort of cell shading, and remember to show us your work. And um, before we move on to the last session <laughs> of the day, we actually have another really exciting thing for you. We have a prize giveaway too. <laughs> we have some more prizes to give away guys. So um, the next one is going to be slightly different than the last one. Uh, if you have been watching, you are going to be seeing a photo of a jar full of origami stars that has been posted by team or uh, on DVNR at team. The first two deviants to correctly guess how many origami stars that are in the jar in the common on that deviation is going to receive an iPad Pro 11. So yeah. I know, I know, it's kind of really crazy. <laughs> It's yeah, really, I know, cool. right? It's They're really, really nice too. They're yeah. super yeah, that's good. That's what I have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got one too. <laughs> I know so how again. many stars there are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all of the prizes <laughs> today have been brought to you by DeviantArt. So remember oh. um, to support DeviantArt, uh, start your profile. And DeviantArt actually recently rolled out a super, super, super awesome service. Whether you are looking for tier-based opportunities to monetize your art with DeviantArt subscriptions or prefer to offer downloadable packs of content through pre uh, premium galleries, DeviantArt has plenty of ways to, uh, for you to bring in um, pre uh, your, your own income, <laughs> extra side <laughs> income. Oh, I was losing Lame. my word. Uh, oh, for me, right. for example, I started Parker. a DeviantArt subscription. I have two tiers, so $5 to access my own personal uh, exclusive content or $20 tier uh, for all of the stuff that I have been doing since 2019. So if you guys uh, want to check out those subscription, it's been a really, really awesome side um, passive income for me because, you know, like it's all just there for your uh, already people that are watching your profiles. So once you upload, you don't have to leave someone else elsewhere. Like it's all just there in one platform. So it's really awesome. Remember to check it out. And again, remember to go guess the origami stars. <laughs> Good <laughs> luck, everybody. Say... We have one more session and I'm super excited for this one. We had Justino that is going to show us to how to draw with markers. <laughs> oh wait, I have to do something? Oh, yes. I didn't. Oh, oh. God, I didn't. Oh, <laughs> Fired. I didn't <laughs> oh. right. We're about to enter Jank City, <sighs> where as I flip my camera, and enter. Oh wait, hold on. I had a bit. I had a fun bit. Nobody look. Nobody look. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, no. wait, wait. That's so private. Don't. Uh... Oh, camera. Hello, and welcome to the inking zone. Oh. Hello. And... Okay. Oh man. I'm so sorry. That was actually, I had way too much fun laughing at all of your guys' sequences. <laughs> I, I love it. What I was going to do. So yeah, um, I am a, I am Justino Barcelo. I am a professional comic book artist and fantasy illustrator. Go look at my goods at deviantart.com slash I am Justin O. And if you subscribe, oh. I'll give you the spicy content. That's right. <gasps> I'm the oh. spicy artist of the group. Oh. What scandalous <laughs> things that you have, only you can find out. Uh, <laughs> but I'm actually, I'm really glad that Alicia went before me because I'm actually uh, gonna piggyback off of her because uh, my style is inking. I, I do a lot of black and white uh, art. Uh, obviously I paint a bunch of do a bunch of other stuff, but I mostly work digitally but we're bringing it back to the roots traditionally. We're gonna work on those fundamentals because you know, as long as you got that strong, strong base, you can grow and you can get stronger and you can go faster. Uh, I don't remember about the rest of the song, but <laughs> sorry. Um, but realistically, a lot about inking is kind of trying to figure out how you interpret the world and trying to put that on paper with your limited amount of colors. So like, 
one of y'all give me give me a texture that you want to see texture metal. like wood metal cloth give me tweed. A texture. <laughs> tweed. Oh, I, I can do a tweed okay okay so we're so gonna the really hard thing, ourselves here <laughs> so got we've got a circle because the circle is the ultimate form of art um <laughs> when when you're looking at art you are sorry when you're looking at textures and how you interpret them you have to think about what information you want to convey in your particular style so like in more animation or cell shading it's not going to be really necessarily it honestly just might be like a line and mm -hmm. then like following the form of the ball and this mm -hmm. oh like that's hey that's cloth and then some colors will go in there and that's it. But if you wanted to push it further, you want to then like think about the spaces that aren't being shown and kind of fill it in a little bit further. And you always have to be thinking about the form. And normally I'd be wearing a glove for this. I don't right now because I'm trying to make it as intro level as I can. But you want to be working from your elbow. This is the most awkward camera angle. But you're working from your elbow. I just work from my wrist. This is not what you want to do. Uh, this is why I wear the glove, which is like a nice little silk thing that stops me. We were actually working from your elbow and your shoulder because you want to be making the long, comfortable strokes. And yeah. what they do is actually add a lot more stability, a lot more comfortability, and it actually prevents injury down the line. Oh, so it, yeah, like you, it's a lot of thinking a long term. Mm -hmm. See, yeah. black and white art, everyone kind of like junk line because you're like, man, it's just two colors. It ain't worth anything. But it's actually due to the limitations, it'll, you have to be thinking a little bit more coherently. Like you have to be trying to take your ideas and try to pro show them in a way that feels naturalistic. So for the tweet, you kind of, so like, let's say this is the, that this is the sleeve. I'm going to think of like a tweed jacket. And yeah. then you've got that like classic, perfect, like little elbow patch. And mm -hmm. how you would convey that is then you have to be thinking about like, well, what's on that section. So you have your cloth, which can be, again, just perfectly done by a bunch of little strokes. Mm -hmm. And basically what you're doing with these little strokes is that you're just showing that shadow is being mm -hmm. caught in each of these little sections. Very similar to Alicia Marie's. It's very similar to Sarah mm -hmm. Jean's. And it's not that similar to Ash's at all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's fine. That's fair. <laughs> that's fair. That's a fair assessment. <laughs> Because again, I'm like, ball here. Yeah, I know you're trying to make this ball move and you're trying to add texture to it. It's reckless. Because it's, this, it's the thing where you're, you're taking creativity and you're trying to just like put it into all different forms, which is why you have like this insane group of four different artists and you're like, I could actually learn from each of these people if they weren't all insane and screaming. Let's <laughs> <laughs> keep it real. So then, keep it real. <laughs> it's real. So like, even, I, even took, like in the tweed jacket, like let's take the lesson that we learned from the, the, from the shoes. You have to remember that there was the seams and then there was the cloth section. So then mm -hmm. you have to remember like, okay, well, how many of these little dots do I want to imply? And if you're yeah. working in a more cartoony, four is going to work great if you're working in a more realistic uh style you might like add a little bit more of a curve to it and then like yeah. ha add more it, it's again it's yeah it's, it's just more information yeah. it's just how much information <laughs> can pour into that matter it's just so much and yeah. let's say all right well we've got this little blank spot justin uh -huh. that blank spot means mm -hmm. nothing to me Let's see, Ash is looking at me. She's just like, Justin, where is this going? 
<laughs> I got a plan. I've got a scruple on the paper. Yes, we have circles. <laughs> I have those kind of. <laughs> but realistically, realistically, you're always trying to think about the shape of the object and the form it's trying to convey. Mm-hmm. And man, I thought this was going to be a simple eight minutes. I got real heavy, didn't I? <laughs> Yeah, y'all Justin. Threw tweet, y'all threw tweet at me. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Justin, you have three more minutes to fill all oh. six circles. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Speeding. Okay. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. You're lucky. Oh. I want to see you do but, it. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do okay. it. So here, you add, and I'm using a Sharpie because realistically, you could use anything with a tip to any degree. Uh, here, like, I'll even mix it up. I'll switch back to my Bosco. All right. So we'll do metal. Uh, a big part about Ooh. metal and like a more of a cartoony style is that it radiates a it radiates its line light source in a really sharp way. Mm-hmm. So you do that. Oh, oh it's magic. <laughs> yeah, because like it's again, it's just following the form uh-huh. and it's mm-hmm. Especially if you're working Ooh. digital, don't worry yeah. about here. That's actually pretty bad. Mm-hmm. No, you know, that's fine. Because that's, <laughs> again, once I said how you form your art style, oh, mm-hmm. yeah. take, oh, no, leave the mistakes sense. there as long as they have the right intention, if mm-hmm. that makes sense. Mm-hmm. I feel that. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I that's sh- the biggest, the biggest thing you could take away from like inking styles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have I have also switched to the big boy, the big chungus. Yeah, it's actually much nicer. <laughs> I actually like it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we, are, we are seeing my weaknesses in action here today, folks. <laughs> I, 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 I promise I'm here. good at EG. Go to my DNR profile. I swear to God, it's good. <laughs> I'll have an in-depth post about inking in a much more realistic sense. But oh. here, okay, here, I'll do wood. I'll do wood. Wood's always okay. a good one. It's just... also about like how you use different shapes. Yeah. So again, don't bash on black and white art because it's a lot of different thoughts that are happening. And in fact, a really good way of learning to ink is to look at an artist that you enjoy, like no matter what art style mm-hmm. they have and mm-hmm. kind of analyze like, oh, I like this art, but like, why do I like it? And it's like, well, oh, I like the lines. Mm-hmm. And like, well, what are they doing with the lines that make me like it? You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Black and white art definitely has a lot of um, wisdom to it because yeah. it is so... Uh, in a way, like you have less to to work with. Yeah, and it's so very. You have to be smarter. Yeah, you have to be smarter about each thing that you put mm-hmm. down. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. You know, right? The brick. That is that is oh. inevitably its curse. That it does like show, <laughs> and I think that's why it's like a lot. Like it's kind of intimidating for a lot of people. Is that when you don't feel confident in it because. Yeah. you're not making the right lines or like you're like oh I messed up like that wasn't like the line I intended to be it's mm-hmm. zoom out take a step mm-hmm. back like it's part of a bigger picture don't worry about the mm-hmm. small stuff mm-hmm. it makes sense also from a technical standpoint taking a step back and looking at your work from afar is also just very it's generally good advice because mm-hmm. you get because yeah. I, I I'm yeah, sitting here just like you know and it's like <laughs> no you gotta you gotta, gotta hold it out, <laughs> hold it out for yeah i never undo anymore i just kind of like let it have its own thing because mm-hmm. it's also how you build up speed yeah totally you know? yeah oh this is a mess uh... we're just gonna let it be a mess all right show me this circle <laughs> wow it's it's me this circle. also oh, i God. hand drew each one of these circles to put it in perspective i uh, hand drew it definitely didn't use uh-huh. a cup or a mm-hmm. lid um mm-hmm. So, all right, uh, Sarah Keen, you go first. Let me let me see them circle. Uh, he, he, here's my. Are so you kidding I, me? I, I, I always like try to talk. <laughs> wow. Those are better than mine. I kind of not. <laughs> I kind of did not estimate the size right. 
<laughs> so this one is very small. <laughs> that's great. Like, that's a really good tired. example. Like, that's I a perfect that. example of like using texture to reinforce the shape and just like having fun with it. I, I, really, uh, I think using the, the marker or the Sharpie is super relaxing because if you make a mistake, you just move on. And like you, yeah. I, I almost expect mm. it. So it's relaxing to be able to just say oh, it's okay it was expected yeah mm -hmm. so yeah it's really fun thing. i really enjoy this yeah me alicia too. this is fun i actually circle. was just copying you i didn't know i was supposed to draw my own thing but i was <laughs> hey <laughs> that's, actually, that's really that's good actually, what hey, that's actually really good. good you got <laughs> it i'm putting it on my good. wall yes <laughs> Just all put this on their Aww. fridge. It'll be great. Yeah. Awesome. All right, Ash. Oh no, this is, oh no. Oh no. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, oh, that's that's super. Excellent. Oh, that or a croissant. Wooden bowl. That's yeah. amazing. It's it's that's something. Awesome. Right? <laughs> you know what? It is. It is. If nothing else, it's like, like from a like a like a. It's it's satisfying to just sit there with a the marker and just like scribble away. Like mm. an inhale yeah. Sharpie, good yeah. idea. Yeah. Exactly, inhale Sharpie. Yeah, just take a good yeah. 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 One yeah. lesson Even from, just from like my a... class today. If you take one lesson from my class today, it's just remember <laughs> that art's supposed to be fun. And like, as long as you're like, just enjoying yourself, like that's it. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. Yeah. I have a bone Whew. to pick with you illustrators though. <laughs> Let's fight old man. Let's well, go. We will all get there, right? <laughs> so, well, that was seriously super fun. And thank you, everybody, for joining us. I'm actually kind of sad that absolutely flew by. Like, I, I, I needed more time for each session next time, DBNR. <laughs> Please. I know. We seriously could like spend like a half hour each. Easily. I know. <laughs> easily. It's going to be an all day thing. Yes. <laughs> well, Thank you, Chad, and thank you, all of the artists, and thank you, everybody, for joining us on stream. I hope you learned a lot, and don't forget to upload your art to DeviantArt if you create it along with us, and make sure to tag the individual artist as well. Uh, make sure to check out the videos all day long because we have really exciting content planned for the whole day, and don't forget to enter the World Inside Your Mind Challenge with all the huge prizes. So again, uh, check out the links in the description for all of the details. And don't forget to watch these artists on DeviantArt. Guys, mm -hmm. uh, how about let's go around to uh, everybody and just tell uh, your DeviantArt profile name. All right. Yeah. Ash McGivern, A-S-H-M-C-G-I-V-E-R-N. Mm -hmm. Nice and simple. <laughs> Uh, yeah, mine is right. deviantart.com slash I am Justin O. That's just in, just in the letter O. Oh, that's all. Oh, Justin O. <laughs> awesome. When you're that's actually really pie. clear. <laughs> How do I spell Justin? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and hey everybody, I'm Alicia Marie Body. It's A L I C I A M A R I E Body because I'm kind of somewhat of a fitness hobbyist. So it's <laughs> It just stuck, okay? People are like, why are you like? I'm like, never mind. Just, just, <laughs> just, just. <laughs> <laughs> and for me, I am the one with bear. If you can find me on uh, DeviantArt as the one with bear. And if uh, the artists have sub sub uh, subscription services, remember to check them out because apparently Justin has some spicy things going on. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I'm just saying, Urbosa. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh the queen herself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. It was such thank a pleasure. You. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. you. Oh my god. So it was fun. Yes. Oh, it was this is awesome. so good. I start crying from laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Have a wonderful day, guys. Yeah. Take care, Chad. Bye. Bye, Chad. Bye. Bye.